Hello everyone, this is Justina from Lady J Crochet. In this tutorial, I would like to show you how to do a stretchy bind off for a one by one ribbing. Um, a stretchy bind off is good for um, projects such as sweaters, for your neck opening to be more forgiving to go over your head, or for a cuff so it's more stretchy versus a standard bind off which can sometimes not be as forgiving. It's also good for shawls where there's going to be some stretch over time and you want the bind off to go along with that stretch. Now, I have already done a one by one rib for my swatch and to start my bind off I'm going to knit my first stitch and then because the next stitch is a purl I'm going to purl it. So for a stretchy bind off instead of bringing this loop over this one and off the needle like a standard one which you can do for a stretchy one I insert my left hand needle from left to right through both of these loops. Then I yarn over and knit them. And then I will continue my knit purl sequence. I will knit the next stitch, take my left hand needle from left to right through, yarn over, and pull through to knit. You can see that this gives you a clean V at the top of your bind off as well. So the next stitch is purl, so we will purl it. And then you will take your left hand needle from left to right, yarn over, pull through, and you don't need to keep the loop on your right hand needle too loose or too tight, just an even tension while you do this. Knit my next stitch. Oops. Now I will just continue this bind off in the same way, purl the pearls. And my last one is a purl stitch. And instead of doing my stretchy bind off for the very last stitch, what I do like to do is just bring the loop furthest to the right, up and over, like so. I can use my scissors to cut this yarn, leaving a tail to weave in, pulling through, there. Now you can see the edge is a clean V and it continues the knit purl sequence for the ribbing.